so Peter, what, 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 what is, you know, uh, in the final analysis, what, what, what is the, the mission here? What is the purpose for, for, for doing this trail, apart from the fact that it, it's there? Well, at the end of the day, it's the same purpose as we went to the North Pole and the South Pole, which is a combination of a sense of adventure, but also to raise money for inner city nutrition programs. And uh, this time I'd say we put the emphasis even more so on the children in terms of by being able to do it in Ontario with the Bruce Trail right in our backyard, we can engage kids. So we're going to engage them by having them come on the path and hike with us, but we're also going to engage them by posting videos and pictures and really involving them with the cooperation of the Bruce Trail in what they have just in their backyard. Peter, um, uh, you, uh, your, your team adventures, you've gone to the North Pole, you've gone to the South Pole. Um, what, what, what is involved with hiking the Bruce Trail that presents particular challenges that you, that you I, I suppose, first of all, what, what does the Bruce Trail offer yeah, as particular challenges that, that you didn't have for hiking the poles? What, 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 what do you have to bring to bear to be successful with this uh, in, in the, the 30 days that you're hoping to accomplish this? In? Well, in the same way as the North and South Pole trips, it, at the end it comes back to teamwork and preparation. So we hope not to deal with minus 30 or minus 40 temperatures, but on the other hand, the Bruce Trail is 900 kilometers and it's 30 days simultaneous of hiking with a backpack with weight in it. And of course, the escarpment isn't flat, it's up and down hills, so we think it's going to be an incredible challenge. So in that respect, it's going to burn a lot of calories every day and we're going to have to be very careful with our nutrition. And also, uh, when we were in Antarctica, we were stopping and phoning into schools, uh, primarily from our tents. This time we're going to be engaging and meeting with kids on the trail. So logistically, the planning process is actually quite complicated. At the North and South Pole, you basically set your compass and you went in that direction. On this one, we're talking about orienteering and finding your path and quite frankly, dealing with mother nature, which could be everything from rain to bugs to, uh, to people breaking their ankle. And as we get up north, the seasons are gonna be, the season is gonna be fantastic because the, the leaves should be falling, but that presents a danger because it uh, blocks a lot of the crevasses. So it's actually, uh, we've been told to expect the worst. It's gonna be quite tough.